Hello everyone, welcome to GIR Golf. I'm Jim and welcome to today's video where we talk about fixing our misses to the right. And if you're a right-handed golfer, we'll talk about your misses to the right. If you're a left-handed golfer, then you just reverse uh, what I'm teaching you because your miss would be to the left. But for most of us out there, we're right-handed golfers, including myself, and we struggle, most of us, with this miss to the right. Now, it's important to know what your miss actually is what kind of shot you're hitting. Generally, we say because if we have a bad miss to the right, we call that a slice, but it may be a push shot. It may be a push fade shot, or it might be a true slice that starts straight or a little bit left and bends severely to the right. There's a great video on our channel called 11 Golf Shot Shapes and Cures. I'll put a card up here and feel free to click on that or go back to this video, refer to it later. Uh, but it identifies 11 different shot shapes in golf and what causes them. Because remember, that golf ball sits there just waiting for us to give it instructions. The reason you missed the ball to the right is because you told the ball to go to the right. Same thing with me. If I, if I miss severely to the right or have any type of bad golf shot, I've given that golf ball the instructions to do so. If I've hit a good golf shot, I've given the golf ball instructions to do so. It is not the golf ball's fault when we hit bad shots. I kind of, uh, it, it makes me laugh when I see tour players have a bad shot or a bad hole, they'll putt out and just throw the golf ball to the crowd or throw it into the water like it's the golf ball's fault. It is not. It is an inanimate object. We are the animate objects telling it what to do. Let's get to it, give you some nice, simple steps to fix that miss to the right, right away. Step number one in fixing our misses over to the right, no matter how severe they are, is to make sure that we are not aimed over to the right. Step number one, have a good setup. You know, me as a coach, I've had a luxury of being behind players and, lining, and checking their alignment, and they may be saying, hey coach, I'm missing the ball to the right, help me out. The first thing I'll check is to see if they're aimed over to the right and just looking at the target. Us right-handed golfers, including myself, we have a tendency to aim to the right naturally a little more than we should. We need to aim a little bit more to the left. What we feel is not reality. Always trust what you see back here. That's why I, I am a big fan of alignment rods. Here on the driving range, you aim small, you miss small. I stood back there just like you are looking at me in the camera. Line this road up to my target and I'm gonna trust whatever I saw back there. It's gonna be way more accurate than me standing here sideways. Always trust what you see back there. Put alignment rods down on the range. And then you can get your feet, your knees, your hips, your shoulders parallel with this line and make sure your setup is good. And step number one, start there to help you not miss the ball to the right so severely. Step number two in fixing those misses to the right is to have a square or straight club face. I've got my eight iron here and I've got a magnet attached to it to help us see how my face is when I'm addressing the golf ball and also when I swing. Let's start with addressing the golf ball. You know, I could have perfect setup here and this tee will represent my golf ball. And if I have my feet, my knees and my hips and my shoulders running parallel, just like we talked in step number one, I could have a great setup, but if I address the ball with the open club face, open meaning it points to the right, I'm gonna have a tendency to hit the ball to the right. Every miss to the right has an open club face at impact. So if I start with an open club face at impact, and you'd be surprised how many of you do this. Right here at the ball, you're already setting yourself up when you address the ball to hit the ball to the right because your club face is pointing to the right. How you practice this is get your get everything lined up and how you fix it, it take slow motion swings down at the ball and make sure that club face is pointing straight or square. We want to get that club face square. We don't want to be impacting the ball with the club face pointing to the right. We're going to hit the ball to the right and depending on how open it is or how much it is pointing to the right different severities. Our final step, step number three in controlling those misses out to the right, 
is we got to have our swing path under control down here at the impact area. We got we to gotta control our swing path. What I mean by that is the path that the club head travels. I've still got my eight iron here with the magnet and we've got to practice getting that club hitting the ball, staying straight for about this far and then swinging around. We got to get that club path square and straight down through the impact area. Many of you that struggle, everybody that struggles with the ball going to the right, you uh, have too much of a of curvature going on here. Many of you will have an out to end club path thinking, I, I struggle hitting it right, so I'm gonna swing the club a little more left, but if your club face is wide open, that's how you hit a slice. And some of you, the reason you missed it right, for you put those of you that push the ball, maybe hit a push or push fade, your club path is too far in and then too far out. We call that an in to out club path. The other one again was an out to in club path. If you do that, you're gonna put a lot of curvature on the golf ball and you're gonna miss the ball to the right or the left. In this video, we're talking about to the right. We've got to get this under control through the impact area. We have to come down, hit the ball, and have this club path a lot straighter. The greatest way to practice this is to rehearse the one-piece takeaway. If you watch uh, tour players, many, many of them on the men and the women's side rehearse the one-piece takeaway to help keep this club path under control. I actually do it uh, as part of my pre-shot routine. So you get, get, get in here, have great setup, get that club face nice and square, and then you'll see them. They'll rehearse this move right here. They're rehearsing, taking the club straight back as they can. You're not actually taking it straight back, but you, but you actually feel you do, because again, we swing on an arc. Many of you will lift and come in here like this, or many of you will lift and come out here like this. That's why it's great to video yourself. Have a buddy do it. Rehearse that one piece takeaway to help you get. So right here, I'm just not moving much of anything. I'm just, I'm just using my shoulders and my abdominals to take that club back as straight as I can. Again, you, you can see on camera, I'm making a little bit of an arc, but I'm not making a severe arc. We've got to calm that arc down. And step number three, control that club path. Knowledge is so powerful. As we wrap this video up, I'm going to hit a few shots and I'm going to hit them on command because I know what instructions to give the golf ball. Go study that video as we mentioned before so you know if I want to hit an intentional slice, sometimes I do. I want, may want to start that ball out to the left and really bend it around some trees, or for example. I can give that ball, golf ball instructions because I know to hit a true slice, my club path will be out to end with an extremely open club face or point to the right. So if I want to hit an intentional slice, first of all, I won't have a great setup. Okay, that's why you got to check your setup. I will purposely drop my left foot back to help me emphasize that out to end club path. And then secondarily, if I want to hit an intentional slice, I'll start with the club face pointing to the right. Might as well give it a head start. Many of you do this, you don't even know it. I'm trying to hit one intentionally. So I'll do that, and then I'll, then I'll take the club back. I, I know I have to have that club face open, and then I have to have my club path out to end. So I'm gonna really, when I come down, make sure I hold that club face open. It's gonna put a tremendous amount of clockwise spin on the golf ball. And even though I'm aimed to the left and, and uh, and I'm swinging to the left, because of that enormous amount of side spin, it's gonna get over here to the right. Now, whenever you have a bad miss in golf to the right, most of us will just say, oh man, that was a terrible slice. It's important to know what type of shot you actually hit. We just went over the slice where our club path was out to in, and our club face very open. That can cause the ball to go to the right, hit that slice. You actually start it straight, or 
gets started to the left and bends way to the right. Another miss to the right that you may be doing is called a push. Your club path is too far in to out and you have a square club face. Again, a push or a shot that just shoots out dead straight to the right, your club path is in to out with a square club face. And you may see, you may see even possibly a worse shot than a true slice is called the push fade. So if I have my club path too far in to out and that club face is open, then that ball is going to shoot out straight to the right and then keep bending to the right. Knowledge is powerful. Understand what instructions you're hitting, giving to that golf ball. I'm going to intentionally hit a push and a push fade on Shot Tracer to show you that if you know how to give it instructions, you can get to have command of the golf ball. Now that we've talked and, under, and gained some knowledge rather on what is happening when we miss those balls to the right, let's give the golf ball some good instructions. How about I hit a little draw here with my driver? That would be nice, the ball will land and roll a little bit. So I'm gonna give it those instructions. I'm gonna make sure I go through my checklist. Number one, because I, if I'm missing the ball to the right, I gotta make sure I have a good setup. So I'm gonna check my setup, my feet, my knees, my hips, my shoulders. Step number two, I'm gonna have a square club face through impact. And it begins when I address the golf ball. I'm gonna make sure I'm addressing the golf ball with that square straight club face. Step number three, I'm gonna have control over my swing path. I'm not gonna have it coming way too far in and out. I'm not gonna have it coming way too far out and in. I'm gonna to try to take it back and soften that arc. I'm gonna rehearse my one piece takeaway. Let's see if we can hit a nice baby draw, get it going starting out ever so slightly to the right and ending up my target. Thank you everyone for watching this video. Hopefully this is giving you some tools to go out and hopefully you've gained some understanding on why you're missing the ball to the right. Go out there and practice these things. Go over these three uh, tips I've given you and stop missing the ball to the right. And if you do, you know, understand what happened there. Identify that shot and then try to fix it on the next one. Thank you again. Remember to smile often, have fun. God loves you. We will see you next time. <laughs>